The lion is the king of the jungle. How can he be the king of the jungle? If he's not the biggest, the elephant is probably one of the biggest. He can't be the fastest because that's a cheetah. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does a lion become the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant thinks run. And it's all mentality. Because when a male lion walks up, he may be outnumbered by a pack of hyenas. But I'm king of my jungle because of my mentality. Everybody wants to be a millionaire. Everybody wants to live in a certain neighborhood. Everybody wants to be the top of the top. Everybody wants to be phenomenal until, until it's time to do what phenomenal does. Everybody. I told you, that's why I'm not afraid. I'm not, I'm not scared that some kid's gonna take my spot. If he does, he's gonna have to do it with sweat. He's gonna have to do it with tears. He's gonna have to do it with blood. He is going to have to get up at 2.30 in the morning. If he can get up every day at 2.30, he deserved to take my spot. Some people are taking your spot and they shouldn't take it, but because you're average, it's easy to take your spot. It's easy. It's easy to get to the place before you get there. It's easy to take that client before you get to him. It's easy. It's easy to beat you. Why? You average. It's easy to beat you. You're excited. You come to the conference. You listen to the stuff. You're excited, but let me tell you something. Everybody wants to be a beast. Till it's time to do what beasts do. If you can take all of this information and turn beast mode on, there's absolute. Look, see, I don't know what time it is. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm on a whole different time zone. I don't really know what's going on with my body and why my body is not getting the sleep that it's supposed to get. But listen to me. Up to one time I'm speaking at nine. Another time I'm speaking at eight thirty at night. Another time I'm signing books at nine p.m. I don't care about the time. My body does not go with the time. I teach my body. You adjust to the engagement. You adjust to the gig. You adjust to the presentation. You adjust to the piece. Why? You not average. You beast mode. So I don't care about what time it is. I have an opportunity of a lifetime. All I ever knew was effort would get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the lead. Effort would one day take care of my mom and my kids. Effort, which is between you and you. Nobody else can give you effort. Nobody ain't got to convince me of what I do. I do what I do because I do what I do, because I'm built from something. And man didn't create it. Every one of you men in here have that opportunity, but ask yourself the question personally, how much time you really waste? How much of our brains are we really going to use? I use mine to tell somebody today, there's no other man out there willing to give up what I'm willing to give up. I said that in 1993, when I said I wanted to be the greatest hurricane, and the only thing that I got in the middle of all of that distance it's the only thing that follows work is results. There's no other blueprint. I ain't got no other secrets to tell y'all today. If you want to do something, work at it. The power of respect is never to disrespect. I said that I might be the greatest player to ever walk up out of the universe in Miami. I did not say that because I thought I was better than everybody else. I said that simply because I was willing to put in the work to now be back here 18 years later and tell you the only brotherhood I still have it sits on my chest. And greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day, workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. I have to be in beast mode 24 seven. And your problem is you're like a, a, uni, a university class. You are on beast mode Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tuesday, Thursday, beast mode. Beast mode, 10 a.m. 
to 12, beast mode, one to five. And I challenge you, I challenge you to make up the gap. I challenge you to go from average. I challenge you to go from good. I challenge you to go from great. And I challenge you to be phenomenal. I challenge you to live in beast mode because beast mode makes more money than average does, period. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? It? Yourself or the man that's beside you? Or the man that you know you'll give everything in your heart for? We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to do whatever you're going to do. To lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make. Whatever legacy you're going to leave. Leave your legacy. And it's found through effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So that team that think they're ready to see you, they think what they seen on film, they ain't saw what film shows. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now! Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. Now this is the problem. Some of us have left our employment and we've come into this industry and we've brought with us a nine to five mindset. This is important. You're, you're doing what entrepreneurs do, but you're doing it with a nine to five mindset. And what a nine to five means is that I'm gonna put forth effort during this time and this time. When you are a true hunter, when you are a true hunter, you don't go by time, you go by the gazelle. I'll say it again, when you are a true hunter, you don't hunt from eight to three, why? Because the gazelle may not be open from eight to three. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another, right? So what happens guys, if you don't know this, that a lion has a different type of appetite. So the more, when a lion like a shark takes blood, it's dangerous. So you don't get to the point, listen to me, a nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. Okay, you missed what I just said. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. And your problem is you just want to check. <laughs> yeah, not a true hunter. You just want to sell. You don't get excited about the process. But a true hunter gets excited about every single part of the problem.